Mr. Bigley! Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbigly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbigly, and I'm once again playing another random one-shot that I found over on Game Jolt. This is a game that was made, once again, for Game Boy Jam 3, which was like my favorite Game Jolt competition recently. I loved it. Uh, there's so many great entries. Uh, there was Octane Witch, and then there was also um, Meow Meowlogical, or Meowgical Tower was the other one that I really liked. Um, so this one is called Protect the Internet, and basically you're a spaceship, and you're Earth's last hope, and you are trying to protect uh, the only thing that matters on Earth, which is the internet, from aliens that are attacking Earth. And uh, basically, you are just rotating around the Earth and defending it as these uh, incoming space invader types come in. It's sort of like space invaders uh, with like a 360 degree view. You'll see in a second here. Uh, just to point out this quick, you can change the color scheme. Like, this is a freaking... Game Boy Color. I love that. That's so awesome. That's a great little touch by the dev. I like that. So anyway, let's go ahead. Um, the way they describe this game is a roguelike. I uh, like shoot 'em up. And the reason they call it a roguelike is you'll see here. I'm gonna pick up uh, abilities. So I just got a plus damage. And uh, each time you die, you do start over just like a roguelike. Uh, but you level up your ship as uh, as you go on. Now I haven't been able to figure out what these pods are that that pop down. I think that's they're the treasure chests that the uh, the skills come out of. I could be completely wrong with this, but obviously, like if I get hit by those, they don't hurt me. But um, obviously, the things I'm shooting are the aliens, and they're they're just blasting away at Earth. Oh crap! Holy crap! What the hell? Ow! 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 I'm getting shot. So okay, so uh, I guess those pods are real bad. They're they're shit. Oh my god, that was close. I'm gonna say. Uh, apparently, when you die or when you almost die, you go into this weird bullet time. Okay, so those things, these things that fall out of the sky at me. Okay, so they don't hurt me when they come down, but they can shoot lasers up out of them, which do hurt me. All right, I got a ton of damage. Fortunately, I just found some health. Ow, they hurt me again. God damn. But then they also turn into the chests uh, that the items come out of, I think. I, I don't know. I'm confused. All I know is this game is great. It's such a simplistic design. Um, it's kind of like, oh, cool. See, now I have two blasts. And you just progressively level up, and there's so many crazy power-ups in this game, and it's so awesome. Um, but, uh, yeah, this this is such a simplistic design. It reminds me sort of of, like, uh, old arcade shooters on Atari, like uh, Tempest. Um, sort of like the tube shooter type thing, even though you're not in a tube in this one. You're still rotating 360 degrees. You're, uh, you're trying to fight sort of incoming enemies. Like I said, it's very space invadery as well. Oh, man, now we're shooting three at once? Holy crap. See, and it gets crazy. Your your ship just apparently your ship gets like mega OP, but it's never really truly OP because um, there's too many enemies. Okay, so I see when they flash, what happens is they're about to shoot out stuff. They're about to <laughs> ew. <laughs> uh, that made it sound funny. Um, <laughs> we get some health, even though we don't need it. I'll just grab it anyway because we're greedy like that. We're greedy. Man, this game is sweet, though. What a cool game. Piercing. Oh, nice. Oh, and it changes the color of my blast. I love that all the art is done completely with, like, Game Boy template. Like, uh, the same uh, same regular shades you'd see in, like, the classic Game Boy screen are, are here. And that's all that they're working with. And like I said, they have that Game Boy color uh, sort of palette swap in the beginning there that you can choose to do, which is awesome. So right now, it feels like my ship is freaking great. As long as I don't get hit by enemies, I'm going to do fine, I think. Oh, God. And then I'll go ahead and I'll get hit by enemies. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. It's very confusing because... Oh, shit. Bullet time time. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Oh, overkill, man. Um, it's very disorienting because when you get to the bottom of the planet, uh, you hitting... Like, me hitting right right here sends my ship left, and me hitting left sends it uh, right, so until we go all the way around, and then it's the proper orientation again. I'm sorry, guys, I got the burpees thanks to you again. Got movement speed up. Uh, but, yeah, it's it's really cool. It's a great mechanic. It's it's just, I like this game a lot. I can see myself playing this after the, it's off camera. Oh, man, that looks like a new enemy shooting some sort of beam weapon down at the planet. Now, I don't know if there's any um, consequence for them actually shooting the planet, or I just have to survive. I, I feel like I'm just... I'm Earth's last hope here. Oh, God, don't kill me, bro. Oh, don't tase me, bro. Don't tase me, bro. How do I kill this guy? Shit. Dude. Oh, yes. Opening. Yes. Killed you in the face. Is that like a mini boss? I have no idea. No idea if that was a mini boss or what that was. This game, though, is so cool. It's great. 
super, super great. Oh, and uh, as always, I'll leave a link down in the description. So if you guys want to try this yourself, you can do so. And oh, God, you sons of bitches, you stupid aliens. Stay away from my Internet. I need need my Internet. I need my Internet because it's got porn. I mean, um, without the Internet, you can't watch YouTube. You can't watch this video that you're watching right now without the Internet. Uh, I also thought that it was very aptly timed with the whole net, neutral net neutrality thing that's been going on. Um, you know, something that's protect the internet is a very, uh, <laughs> very, um, fitting sort of title for something like this. Uh, oh man, we got even more, more number balls, number balls. Oh my god, we're gonna totally die here. This is a bad thing. This is a really bad thing, guys. This is a horrible thing. We're, oh shit. Oh yeah, give me that health. Oh, that sweet, sweet health. Healthy goodness. Oh, that healthy goodness, baby. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Okay. Damn, this game is very challenging. Uh, incredibly fun. Like I said, though, like, the ship feels... <laughs> uh, in a one-on-one -on -one fight, the ship... Uh, God damn! The ship feels kind of OP, which is is great, because obviously you're not if I'm... If you're getting constantly threatened by this much... Uh, this much enemy presence. These This constant barrage of enemies kicking my face in. Homing. Got homing missiles? Now I think I'm OP. I got all the damage. I got homing. I got piercing. Uh, I'd like some more HP. That'd be nice. Yeah, now I'm just holding down the fire button and doing work. Doing ridiculous work. Oh, pay me all the money because I'm doing all the work now. I'm going to still get hit by stuff because I'm an idiot, though. Man, look at all that... Oh, all that swaggy dag dag nagness. Oh, we got it, guys. Oh, dicks. I do need more move speed because it's so hard for me to... Grammar? What? Am I shooting... <laughs> it's the internet. Garfunkel. Dictionary. Dingleberg. Ding... Dingleberg. <laughs> um, oh, my God. This is like... So, this is like a massive spread. I'm dead. Just like that, you can die in this game. You can die that quick in this game. Damn. Super fun. So, grammar apparently let me shoot giant vocabulary words at the enemies. That's what I'm talking about. This game gets crazy nuts in it. Um, honestly, that's probably going to be the only run that I do for this episode, uh, just so that I can get a second video out tonight. I'm, I'm recording pretty late. I went out with my parents for dinner. But uh, this game is awesome. You guys, if you want to give it a try, like I said, the link's down in the description below. Game Boy Jam 3 made some of my favorite indie games over on Game Jolt. These one-shots are awesome. Um, but anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video, and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you. And as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye. Do you want slumber? What? Do you want slumber? K.O. Oh, sweet. Okay, so this is like an inn. I'm gonna recover all my my HPs. Let's talk to the phone. Let's save the game quick because we're about out of time here. So, ooh, look at all that monies you've given me, Daddy. Thank you. I just called him Daddy. That was creepy and weird. I'm never gonna say that again.